coming to our first meeting of AA, Academics Anonymous. Now, I know that you all struggle with a very, very difficult profession, that of a high school teacher, and that you all need therapy. So, we're just gonna start this first therapy session, this focus group, just telling each other about some of our problems. So let's start with you. Okay, well, well I'm a math teacher. Hi, math teacher. <laughs> okay, so I have something that happened to me yesterday. So I got the cliche student question, when am I ever gonna use this? <laughs> so I decided to teach the kids a little bit about the famous mathematicians who invented the math that they use every day. So I decided to teach them a little bit about Leonard Euler. So I read his name on the board, E-U-L-E-R, right? And all I could keep hearing was Euler. Is that not how it's pronounced? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Can you that? That's a real problem in America today. <laughs> Do you have anything else? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's something that really, that really bothers me today. Okay. <laughs> so, so I'm sitting at my desk, right? And like, it's, it's a couple minutes before lunch is over, and, and a student comes in, and it's good to see him come in a little early, because you know, he's struggling in the class. He's got an A minus. And so he comes, up to my, he comes up to my desk, and he instead he asks me this question, is today a free day? <laughs> and, and I'm like, no! No, today's not a free day! Today's a test day, you little brat! <laughs> and these, these kids, these, these scumbag kids, <laughs> they, just, they just sit there and just like, find ways to get at you, you know? They just like, try and like, point out all of your errors. They just sit there in like, calculus class, and just, say really mean things on Skype. I don't think I know that they're saying these things, but I do. I do know. I do know. And you know what the worst part is? Is that they call me a failure behind my back. You're not. And they're, they're right, I am a, I'm a big one. These kids, they can't, they can't do math. They, they don't know how to say names. They, I have tried online dating. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I've tried online dating. I've been on, um, on JesuitTeacherMatch.com. <laughs> I'm sure you've heard of. You've seen, you've seen the commercials. So anyway, I got one match. I got one. And it was from a girl who hadn't even taken differential equations. What is that? What is that? That guy gets me. What is that? <laughs> I'm very sorry to hear about no, that. You're, you're not sorry. That, thank you for sharing. You're not welcome. <laughs> okay, let's move on to our next teacher of the evening. Um, I'm a Spanish teacher. Hola, Spanish. <laughs> and, um, I don't really know how to speak Spanish. Uh, what? What? What does that even mean? Well, I just kind of showed up one day and was like, hola, and they hired me. <laughs> I said I teach a foreign language. I actually have a doctorate in Mandarin. Huh. What, what do you do today in class? Um, well, actually, just last week, we, we took a field trip to Taco Bell. <laughs> the most exciting thing we've done all year. I sure do like Taco Bell. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. Thank you, French Maria. Oh, Ray is yeah. well, what, what, what do you do each day in class? I have about 56 episodes of Dora the Explorer taken on the class. It's a great show. It's a great show. It's the Breaking Bad of our generation. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, so like, I mean, have you learned anything from Dora? Uh, yeah, I learned just yesterday that you can't just add O to the end of a word to make it Spanish. <laughs> yeah, with, with Google Translate being my top visited website, I, I get along okay. Thank you. It's great. Let's snap it off. Let's move on to our last teacher of the evening. Uh, I'm the PE teacher. Hi, PE teacher. Well, I also teach government, but like that doesn't really apply. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I don't really teach anything. I just kind of make kids run, run laps in about PE class every day. I made a kid throw up today. <laughs> don't even know how that feels. I mean, it feels great, don't get me wrong, but like, <laughs> he threw up on another kid. He threw up on like two other kids. He threw up all over the floor. He threw up on me. He threw up on maintenance. I'm not allowed in the gym anymore. What am I supposed to do during class? Ugh. Sounds absolutely disgusting. I'm, I'm sorry. It's, it was awful. And you know what I did? He didn't even do any sort of physical activity. It was before class. The bell hadn't even rung. I was like, hey man, go put your clothes on. And he threw up all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> it was disgusting. Do you have any other stories that you'd like to share with us this evening? I don't know. 
So every Monday we have Mile Monday, and I, uh, I usually drive, ne drive next to the kids because it's not my PE class. I'm not going to run. <laughs> <laughs> I ran over kids. But... <laughs> Threw up on the car. <laughs> it's the same kid. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this kid. He just throws up all over the place. <laughs> the foot was fine. Don't worry about the foot. He just kind of ran it off. <laughs> it's got to be some sort of medical condition. Like vomiting every opportunity that presents itself. That's absolutely disgusting. I'm very sorry to deal with that, but thank you so much for sharing. You were all very brave this evening. Thank you so much. I just like to thank you for coming, and I hope to see you next week.